I know a lot of you guys out there have seen that video with me on camera talking about a Eurotech machine and making the statement or interviewing a guy who made the statement, we have never lost a test cut. There's doubters out there for sure. We got to ask the questions we want you to question, but I'm with Nate today and there might just be some truth to that story. Nate, Eurotech, what has it done for you? We have actually don't have enough work for this machine. <laughs> and we, how did you get there? With the sub spindle and the two turrets, we've actually taken work from other two machines, put it on this machine, we run it three shifts, and half of my third shift doesn't have enough work. Holy moly, and that's because of the capabilities and the speed. And the speed. We've been able to reduce process cycle time down a third or better on wow. every single part that we put on it. Some parts were up to a 50% savings. Wow. And we've added deburring and removed our mill operations and put it in this machine. And I still can't machine it fast enough. <laughs> well, we need to get some more jobs, don't we? We do. We're looking for it. <laughs> so when I think about, when I think about that, kind of leaves me at a stopping point, right? Like that's incredible is what I want to say and just drop the microphone and move on with my life. But the ability to do that is winning. You are able to make more parts, do more, bring more jobs in, maybe free up floor space as well, or put other machines to work on other jobs, bring more, I mean. What it, it also allows you to be competitive with your quoting, because you're not in I didn't want to talk there. about that. I didn't want you to have to talk to your customers about that, but you're right. It is, it's a huge process saver. It's for them, because their end users are looking for cycle time change, cost reduction. Cost reduction's huge right now. Everybody's looking for cost reduction. Machines like this help you keep your margins and still give your customer their cost reduction. So speaking of keeping margins and cost reduction, I see an Edge Technologies bar feed. There's something unique about this bar feed that I want to talk about, about the diameter of the product itself. But before we get into that, bar feed is discussionably the least expensive way to automate. And a lot of people see a machine like this and go, I'm going to throw a cobot or a robot in front of it because I don't have the labor needed in order to run all the machines that are around me, so my cobot or robot can do that for me, which is very true. But at the end of the day, it's typically not reducing cycle times or reducing overall time because the door has to open. The part is, it's a it's a replacement of a human, and I don't mean that in a way as you humans are being replaced. I mean we're missing you and we need more of you, but it is replacing that human operation. But this bar feed has done something exceptional for you. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. So. With the Edge Technology bar feeders, they told me that I was going to be able to spin a three and a half inch, five foot slug of 1018 raw. And I hesitantly agreed with the salesman. Everybody in this building was telling me, there's absolutely no way you're going to do this. You're nuts. And I said, well, we're going to roll the dice and see if it comes true. And we went from having to saw cut, robotically load, to using a three and a half inch 1117 bar at four foot, spinning at 2,500 RPMs, and we're machining parts. That is fascinating because it's also like the easiest way to get into the automation world. Now I want to bring something up. I know this information. It's something I want to ask because I want them to know this information. And it's about the live tooling inside of this Eurotech because you already mentioned the diameter and size of this bar where Edge Technology is like, hold my beer, we got this, we can handle it, where everyone else thought you were nuts by thinking of it. But if you're running parts like that, you gotta be able to machine parts like that. So let's dive back into the Eurotech. What has that been able to do for you? The, the horsepower of the live tooling is 24 horsepower on a live tool head at six grand RPMs. I mean, nobody else even comes close. So when you're machining big parts, you need big tools. You need horsepower to turn those big tools. And Eurotech has stepped up to the plate to put a package together with Edge Technology to provide us with the right tools and the right equipment to machine our parts. Yeah, absolutely well said. We're gonna close this out with the idea and the concept of how do you feel when you breathe deep in this machine shop, my friend? How do you feel? A lot better in the recent years. Ah, and that's that AeroX Misfit up there. Are you a Misfit? I am a misfit. I'm a misfit as well. So let's talk a little bit about misfit also. Breathing is important to me. Lungs are important to me. I actually worked in a machine shop where we had asbestos being yanked out of the ceiling. So I go back that far to those days. Let's talk about the misfit and what that's done for the clean air here. 
So one of our major problems here at HDM is we're not a controlled environment, so we induce a lot of air, and we also spin these uh, machines at a high RPM using 1,000 PSI. So when you open up that door, all that mist and oil and everything is evaporated in the air. The fans are blowing it throughout the shop. So if you're not controlling that mist and that oil, your employees are breathing it in. And we want our employees to be a long-term employee, which means they need to be healthy. They need to be here every day. There's not enough of them in the market as it is. I don't need them being out sick. So we've invested into these misfits on all our new equipment and integrating it into some of our older equipment to provide cleaner air for our employees to breathe. We talk about this a lot, just the idea, right? But much like those old commercials with the Coca-Cola, much like the old commercials of your brain on drugs, if you remember those silly yes. things, right? I like to see, seeing is believing. Do you have an example of what it might look like without the Misfit? Follow me around the corner here. Come on, let's invite the audience. Come on, Nate. I'm excited to see this because we all talk about it. They all bring up the idea, well, breathing is good. We want our lungs to be okay, right? Yes. Um, so if you can imagine, we change these filters once a week. And though we have a lot of Misfits in here, we don't have nearly enough. But that's what our machines are soaking in. That's why mist collection is such an important thing here at HDM. And we're making sure that we're improving our work environment for our employees. And you are. And we appreciate that. You've been here 20 years. You look healthy as well. My friend, do we get a good zoom on that look right there? I mean, can you guys see that? As we zoom in on that part, Nate, thank you for everything you're doing. We really appreciate HDM Hydraulics. We wish you all the best as well. What a great technology, Eurotech, Edge, and AeroX coming together. You're amazing, my it's friend. It's a perfect mix. It is.